Dearest listeners, you couldn't resist clicking on my video, could you? What made you click on it? The fact that you know my voice is the only voice that can penetrate your mind. Or maybe you're getting yourself ready for bed and you wanted me to tuck you in. Or maybe it is simply visual and my thumbnail triggered something in you and made you curious. Whatever the reason is, you've come to the right place. Now, before we progress any further, don't forget to click the subscribe button for weekly video updates. And if you are anything like me, impatient at times, you can always go to my Patreon for more content. But I warn you, they are more intense and a lot more spicier than anything you have heard on YouTube. Don't worry, the link will pop up at the end of my videos so you can always click on it later. Now for the best part, me using my voice to wiggle my way into your ears, your head, and well, you eventually. So do I have your consent? Excellent. Close your eyes. Breathe in. Relax your shoulders as you breathe out and let's begin. Yes, come in. Welcome, welcome. So great to finally meet you. Come, have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Would you care for some tea? I have a fresh pot right here. You're very welcome. I'll have some as well. Thank you for coming on such short notice. I'm aware it's a little soon for this, but when I saw you applied, I just knew I had to interview you right away. Now then, shall we begin? I have to say, looking at your resume, I'm very impressed with what I'm seeing. To be honest, it seems you're overqualified for this position. Can I ask you what made you want to be a groundskeeper? Ah, this is a big bump in salary. Well, your reasoning aside, I'll be very happy to have you on board. What'd you say we skip the formalities and bring out some papers for you to sign? Of course I'm serious, dear. What, were you concerned you wouldn't get the job? No need to worry, darling. I knew I wanted you on my team from the moment I agreed to meet with you. And the one thing you'll come to learn about me is that I always get what I want. Now, here's your employment contract. I'll give you a few minutes to look it over and sign, then I'll have someone show you to your new room. Hmm? What's the matter, dear? Oh, did you not know this is a live-in position? You'll move in and stay here full-time. You won't have to pay for rent, and you'll be provided three gourmet meals a day. Not to mention, you'll be completely free to roam the grounds or come and go as you please when you're off-duty. Not such a bad deal, right? Hmm, I see. Well, that is really too bad. I was so looking forward to seeing you in uniform. Is there nothing I can do to convince you? Oh well, I hope you at least stay to finish your tea. If it's alright with you, I'd love to continue our chat. No longer an interview, just a pleasant conversation over some tea. Would you indulge me for a bit then? Wonderful. So, tell me about your current job. Oh, is that so? 
Well, I certainly see why you're looking for a new one. I wish you the best of luck on your search. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. It's just, I've heard so much about you already, but I haven't told you anything about myself. I can't help but feel I've been terribly rude. Are you sure? I don't want to bore you. Very well, then. I'll ramble about myself if you'll listen. Before that, be honest with me for a moment. How have you been finding my estate? All the extravagant decor and the attendants walking around in uniform? I've been criticized for the way I've flaunt my wealth in the past, but I like to think I earned my fortune and that entitles me to a few luxuries. After all, I started from practically nothing. I worked my way up from an average office worker with a middling salary to one of the richest women in the world. I think I deserve to treat myself a little, wouldn't you agree? So you want to know my secret? <laughs> I see that piqued your interest. It's all started when I was still young. I may not have inherited a single cent from my parents, but I was blessed with their good genes. I quickly learned that I could leverage my looks to get what I wanted out of people. In school, everyone gave me special treatment, even the teachers. I didn't have to try at all to get good grades or be popular. Those things came to me naturally because I was beautiful. Even in university, it was the same story. None of that could have prepared me for the real world, though. Not long after graduation, I found myself working a mundane job with no prospect of advancement. I began to feel listless, like I was drifting through life. All those years I spent getting everything I wanted without trying had finally caught up with me. So, I decided to take a risk. You see... I studied psychology in school, and I decided to put those skills to use. On a day like any other, I paid my supervisor a visit in his office. I brought him a cup of tea and politely asked him about a project. As we talked, I applied what little I knew about hypnotism to subtly guide him into a trance. Once he was under, I used my eyes to drop him even deeper. Before long, he is willing to do anything for me. That's the first time I properly mesmerized someone. This man had been my superior mere moments ago. Now, he stared blankly into my eyes and awaited my command. As I looked back at him, all I could think about was how damn easy it had been. I realized I should have done it from the start. All that time I wasted when it was actually so simple all along. And I didn't stop there. Next, I met with his superior and did the same to them. Then the next one, and the next one. I hypnotized my way up the corporate ladder, refining my technique all the while. In no time at all, I was sitting in the CEO's chair, all my rivals came around to my way of thinking eventually. I retired extremely young, taking a generous sum of the company's money on my way out. Before I knew it, I was living alone in this lavish mansion and fabulously rich. But even then, I felt empty inside. I hadn't truly worked for any of this. It was all practically handed to me on a silver platter. Once again... I found myself feeling unfulfilled. On top of that, I was terribly lonely all by myself in this ridiculous house. I thought I would never find what I was looking for. Hell, I didn't even know what that was. But then one day, it happened. I was looking to hire new house servants when he walked in the door. A young man. Probably around the same age as you, he was handsome and confident, but adorably naive at the same time. I knew right away I had to have him. As we talked, I couldn't help but imagine how ravishing he would look in a uniform. After all, it was normal for servants to wear uniforms, wasn't it? 
I pitched him the same offer I gave you and he had a similar reaction. But after a few minutes of convincing, he signed on without a second thought. He's been happily employed here ever since. To this day, he's still one of my favorites. And yes, I was right. He does look absolutely dashing in his uniform. Ever since then, I've built up something of a collection, I suppose. It became a pastime of mine. I'm sure you've seen them all around. Beautiful, obedient boys and girls, all dressed prim and proper and working so diligently for me. Some of them signed on willingly. Others needed a little more encouragement. Of course, all of them are getting paid quite handsomely, and you would be as well if you decided to stay. Yes, my collection has really evolved into a passion for me. So much so that I went through the trouble of having this room built. It became so tiresome having to trance every new applicant from scratch. I needed a way to streamline the process. A room specifically tailored to my purpose. The acoustics and the soundproofing are ideal for a one-on-one -on -one session like this. And that's not all. Hidden speakers play an audio that hums so softly you might not even notice. Designed to subliminally drop you into a suggestible state as you listen more and more. I'm sure you can hear it if you focus. The walls release trace amounts of special vapor, entirely colorless and odorless. As you breathe it in, you'll find yourself become woozy and lightheaded. And my favorite part of all, if I press this button here, the walls behind me open up to reveal a screen. And on the screen is a kaleidoscope of captivating colors and spirals, with me in the center of them all. It's so easy to just stare and feel yourself getting lost in the patterns. Although, it looks like you've realized that already. <laughs> that concludes my story, dear. Now, there isn't a thing you don't know about me, so... Have you reconsidered my offer? <laughs> my apologies. It seems you're already incapable of speech. That's all right, darling. You don't need to speak. In fact, I much prefer it if you didn't. You don't have to say anything. You only have to sign. Go ahead. Sign for me. <laughs> Oh my, even now you won't do it. Or maybe you're too overstimulated to even pick up the pen. Either way, we'll set you straight in no time. Honestly, I was hoping you'd put up a bit of a fight. Breaking down a subject's resistance is my favorite part of the process. I mentioned my eyes before, remember? Well, now I want you to look into them. Yes, that's it. Look directly into my eyes. See how they shimmer with the light from the screen? It's cute that you're trying to stop yourself, but it's already too late for that. You can't look away. You're captivated by them. Enraptured by them. Keep looking into my eyes and letting my soothing voice lull you in a deeper, deeper trance. It feels good. Your body's so relaxed now. All you have to do is keep staring into my eyes. There you go. Very good. I've done this hundreds of times by now, and not once has someone been able to say no to me after looking deeply into my eyes. Don't they look so beautiful? 
now that they're illuminated by the light from the screen. Here, I'll come closer so you can get a better look. So my love, are you ready to sign for me now? Are you ready to obey? <laughs> are you trying to say something? Are you trying to tell me no? But your mind is so fried from my spirals and my mesmerizing eyes that you can't even form a sentence. It's so precious I could die. But it feels good, doesn't it? You've never been this relaxed before. So why don't you keep staring into my eyes and submit to me? You can feel this good whenever you want. You just have to submit. Submit and sign your life away for me. Good toy. No one else can ever make you feel this good, right? Even if you don't think so now, I'll change your mind before long. It was inevitable as soon as you set foot in my brainwashing room. You're going to be another perfect doll in my dollhouse. You'll cook for me, clean for me, all while looking so cute and all dressed up for me. And when it's your turn to be rewarded, we'll come back here and I'll let you stare into my enthralling, spiraling eyes for as long as you want. Your life will become a happy feedback loop of obedience and pleasure. Soon, you won't even be able to tell the difference between the two. Because obedience is pleasure, love. I think you've already come to accept that fact. This is how good it feels to submit. How good it feels to give me what I want. I told you before. I always get what I want. Now take this pen. You know what you have to do. Good toy. I see you're still fixated on my eyes. You really like them, don't you? No need to worry, love. You'll be seeing a lot more of them from this day on. I'll give you a few minutes to collect yourself, then I'll have someone show you to your room. Take what's left of today to rest, because you start first thing tomorrow. I'm so looking forward to having you in my employ, darling. I have a feeling you'll come to love it here. And I like to thank all my current employees for all their help and support. I could never be where I am without you. And if you're interested in joining my little worker bees, you can find me on my Patreon. And I'm sure you'll find that I'm a very kind but fair boss. <laughs>